Well, there I am again, Sunday, and uh, I've just had my daughter, and she's had a, a look at the, she picked the colours for her books, and uh, I've just put one together, it's just a case, and a book block at the moment, they're, they're not sealed up, but they're all ready, and I've got to put the, the trial backs in that I did, I don't know if you remember from one of my videos, I, I made these up, they, they seem to work admirably anyway, I've been cutting them, um, pieces off for the last ones and uh, they seem to work quite well so when I said don't do it before I try it well they seem to work so and uh, you don't have to go looking around for bits and pieces you just chop a bit off I, have a, I use the guillotine but I suppose you can use it and this is for these books now what I'm doing for my daughter Wendy and uh, she's just been in she wanted to know how how I glow up and she checked on the colours of the box and we were a bit worried about um, we had a little recess which she liked the idea of which I put in there I don't know if you can, how well you can see it but um, but it goes right through the blue and the yellow we thought it'd be a disaster but she she seems to like it anyway when I put a little something in we haven't worked out what we're going to put in yet um, these are the Alice in Wonderland books of course and uh, this is um, buttermilk yellow uh, I got these from Ratchford um, they seem to have a good series of colours and things like that they're quite expensive but they are good quality and this is Bookram and it moulds quite well and uh, it shows everything if you've got a little even a hair underneath there it'll show it through but it's good for modelling and when I put the the backs in the cords in it'll it should look quite pleasant so I've got the other two to do to finish off and uh, I'm not doing anything on book binding or your book bind or anything like that because there's plenty of good people that do that there's um the sage Jason Sage that does it and there's other other girls that the get the girls seem very good at this so on the net so if you look at the way they do it um, you've got a good thing and uh, I have a lot of trouble trying to show you and Thingy. I can do, I probably will do one day, make a, a video of it, but I don't know if anybody's interested. And these are the little books that I've been making. I made, I made five, um, and they seem quite popular. These go like rockets, I don't, <laughs> they seem to go like uh, rockets. I made two of the same there, and uh, I, got, I counted up and I got 288 pages in each little book. These are lined. So, they're not perfect, but uh, they're quite popular. And the other two that I did, oh, the wife took one, so I haven't got any more to show you. That's two that they've stand there with that I'd already done. I did five all together, and uh, that one there was some wallpaper that my daughter had. She's stripping off, and... Uh, Stripping off the, uh, she's stripping off, she's stripping off the, the walls, and uh, I said, don't throw the wallpaper away. And this is a bit here. It's even got the plaster still stuck to it. Look, and uh, you can use anything. It's it, and it's quite, it's quite nice that actually. It, it looks quite nice, and it went in quite nice. And uh, the backs, I, 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 Ted sends me. I'm from up north, obviously. You can tell that, and I'm living down south now. And it's a bit of a miss is up, up north and you don't hear much down here about the north so um he sends me stuff about carlisle and yorkshire and places like that and the books i find quite good the glossy books and i use them as endings i don't know if anybody else does i, 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 I presume they do I, I suppose everything that i do is uh, already been done a million times and uh, the threads i got of ted and um, he sent these so i'm doing every one in in his purple thread I've got a couple of others but uh, they seem to go down quite well then so and my daughter's quite happy with her colour buttermilk and and blue buckram they're in buckram it's buckram the book so I've now got to do the other two and what I did on this which was special I not only rounded the back I also rounded off the um, the end as well which makes it quite easy to turn the pages and it looks looks quite posh I wanted something posh for us or I call it posh stupid Yorkshire expression anyway 
she seems quite pleased and we press the little press has been in action and it's been working quite well um, so I may make another one of those up because they're quite handy you need when you make a few books at a time like so um, at the moment I'm doing I've, well the wife's got one so there should have been five little books and three of these other ones which I'm making up there's the other two to go and I've got all the pieces I'm panning around quite fast here um, I've got all the other little bits and pieces ready to to go this is the next book on the ends and I've got one that's, that's, this is book ram it's got a leathery look to it and the other um, case is being pressed under there so there's a few things I've tied together with the videos you may have seen as I say I'm not showing you how to do book binding it's really just to show people um, what you can do with limited resources I mean it isn't difficult to do it is time consuming and it does take a bit of effort and it is fiddly and uh, I am a bit short tempered but this it, it, it's a resolution <laughs> So you've got to resolve yourself that you're going to do this and you settle in and you do need a few bits and pieces which I may, I've done these all backwards but um, I might um, I might go into what you actually need um, and there's one of the videos that I said you need a guillotine well I'm very sorry or scissors but that you can use um, a cutting knife I use this thing here which is a Stanley blade which is quite strong I wouldn't use anything else for cutting because you tend to put a bit of pressure on and when you put pressure on especially these little knives I did get one of these but they're alright for light work I think they call this an exacto knife I don't use it very often because if you put any pressure on these the blades will break um, and you tend to put a lot of pressure on the blunter they get so I, I don't advocate that you uh, use these for cutting card or anything heavy or several sheets of paper. But if you want to cut, um, this is one I got from a friend. It was uh, of Ted. I'm not supposed to mention his name on the internet. But uh, this is handy for cutting um, lots of pieces of paper with your thing underneath. I think I've shown a little demonstration of that somewhere in one of my videos. Um, and they're quite cheap. Um, but the other little ones... For cutting more than a piece of paper, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advocate cutting more than one piece of paper at a time. Um, they are they, these blades do actually come off. They've got little serrations on them, and you can snap them off to get a new blade. And these blades can go all over. And I, I, I did one, and it flicked off somewhere. And I'm still looking for them. I'll find it one day because I, I walk around in my stocking. So anyway, I'll stop blathering. So I hope that's been of some use to somebody or some interest. I've got no idea, but. Uh, yeah, she's quite happy with that. And when we finish, we're, I'm I'm where I'm thinking standing on my feet here. Really, um, I haven't worked anything out. I don't do any special arrangements for what I'm going to say or anything. I I just do things, and then when I'm quite happy with them, I just um, I just sort them out and get on with them. But uh, somebody who's interested, you think you need a lot, and you need a lot of brains. You don't need any brains at all. I haven't got any. <laughs> so it's just uh, it's just something that's handy. And uh, people do seem to like them. I suppose, I suppose you can uh, fill people up with them and they'll have had enough after a while. You can go on to making booklets then. <laughs> I, I do booklets as well. I have a few machines which I might talk about at some stage as well. I've got a, I've got a, um, a wire binder and I've got um, a plastic binder, ring binder, um, which I tend not to use now, but I did use in the past. I did books like uh, those up there. They're ring bound and there's one with the thing, I think that's got about a thousand pages in that one. Uh, it's a history of Wiltshire. So, um, yeah, I've always been interested in books and I've always fancied doing my own books. So, I hope this is of some interest to somebody. Anyway, I'll stop there. I'll just say that.